I could have gone to see The Mummy tonight. Let's talk about the Black Panther trailer. And rocking the Nintendo 64 t-shirt because I'm filming this the same day that Nintendo's E3 press conference happened. That video is coming soon as well. And I know this video was way late, but I just kind of want to take the weekend to chill. You know what I mean? So here I am on Tuesday night. This will probably go up on Wednesday, I'm guessing, reviewing the Black Panther trailer. This trailer was awesome though. I mean, you starts out and you have Everett Ross and Ulysses Claw and they're talking in this room and Claw says, what do you know about Wakanda? Everett Ross says it's a third world country. They specialize in trade, vibranium, you know, all that good stuff. Claw tells him it's all a front. You know, El Dorado, the thing that we've been looking for in South America? Yeah, that's actually Wakanda. El Dorado exists and it's called Wakanda. And then you see it, you see Wakanda and this thing looks amazing. There's so many like bright, vibrant colors against like this African landscape. It reminds me of like what I feel like the civilization in Mad Max Fury Road would be like, you know, after the end of the movie when they get their water back. And I liked a lot of the costumes and the masks and stuff. It's especially the mask, they had like a sense of grit to it that I saw in the Thor Ragnarok trailer in that like Star Wars used universe kind of way and it made me really feel like this is a living, breathing world. Honestly, there's not a whole lot to mention in this trailer. It doesn't show a lot, which it shouldn't. This was actually a really early trailer. I was really surprised this trailer came out. But yeah, you see little snippets of Black Panther. You see little snippets of Michael B. Jordan, who will be the main villain. I am interested in what role Claw is going to play in this movie because he does. There are some scenes of him outside of that interrogation room. So he's like active and doing stuff throughout the movie and he is one of Black Panther's main adversaries in the comic comics, from what I've been told anyways, because I haven't really read any Black Panther comics. But are Michael B. Jordan and Claw going to be working together, or is Claw going to be kind of like the Joker was in Suicide Squad, where he has his own agenda? I don't really know, but I am excited that Claw is going to be in this movie, and I really like Michael B. Jordan. I'm excited. It's funny that Marvel has basically everybody from Creed locked down in some role of some capacity at this point. Ryan Coogler, director of Creed, he's directing Black Panther. Michael B. Jordan, the star of Creed, he's playing the villain in Black Panther. Tessa Thompson, the love interest in Creed, and she's in Thor Ragnarok. And Stallone is a Ravager in Guardians of the Galaxy now. Let's get Rocky and the Avengers, guys. Come on, it can happen, Marvel. I really like the voiceover that was going on throughout the trailer. Someone was talking, I believe it was Forrest Whitaker, but he says something to Black Panther and he's like, you're a good man with a good heart and it's hard for a good man to be king. And I really hope they explore that because he's right. In politics, there really is no way to come out of politics squeaky clean. The way they introduced Black Panther in the Civil War was brilliant because they established his origin story right there. You see him becoming the king of Wakanda while he's also the guardian Black Panther warrior. But now we're going to see what does that look like with Black Panther and the King, they have to coexist in one person. And how is the Black Panther thing gonna work when you get into all this political stuff? This trailer looks awesome. That one scene at the end of the trailer where he does that flip, it looked a little too CGI for me. It looked like a video game. And the poster that everybody made fun of, that also looks really bad. But everything else really looks awesome. I love the look of Wakanda. That's really my big takeaway from this trailer. Wakanda looks awesome. I was already looking forward to this movie. I'm really excited for it now. I don't know how much of Cap's team we're gonna see in this movie. Originally when I saw Civil War, I was like, oh, the next time we're gonna see Cap or anybody from his team will probably be in Black Panther. I'm sure they'll pop up in like a post credit scene, especially because this is the movie that's going to be right before Infinity Wars. So I'm also interested, does that set up Infinity Wars? Is the soul gem hidden in Wakanda somewhere? A lot of questions, but I am excited for Black Panther's solo movie. I do want this movie to focus more on Black Panther than it does setting up Infinity Wars. I don't really think that'll be a problem. I think Thor Ragnarok, that's probably going to be the movie that sets up Infinity Wars the most. I mean, Black Panther looks awesome. I can't wait. It comes out in February. That's eight months away. Looking forward to it. So did you guys see the Black Panther trailer? Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you guys next time.